and welcome to the State Fair of Texas. Andrew and I and Big Tex are here on opening day of the longest running state fair in America. Can't wait to eat and ride and play all the goodness here. Let's go. Welcome to the State Fair of Texas. We're Andrew and Kate, and we like to go to places both new and nostalgic to show you some of the best places to travel, including state, state fairs. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> this is my third time, but we're both new to Texas, so this is Andrew's first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm super excited. I love a fair. Right when we stepped in, it was funnel cakes and cotton candy smell. You smell the sugar in the air. Now it's time to get out what Texans call a Fletcher's corny dog. You can't call it the corn no. dog here. That's not, that's not the term. It's a corny dog. <laughs> Time to eat. And we have 100 tickets. Coupons. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> Thank you. Have a blessed one. You too. Bye bye. Okay, you want mustard on yours? Yes. Gross. Right here. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one. <laughs> First off. Pretty great. Doesn't disappoint. Pretty good, corny dog. Now this is what I call a Texas tea. What should we do now, Big Tex? More food? More food. So a corny dog is an annual classic, but each year they also do what they call Big Tex Choice Awards, where you get really inventive with fried food, and that changes every year of what the finalists are. Chicharron Explosion Nachos, Deep Fried BLT, Deep Fried Lasagna Roll, Fried Charcuterie Board, Holy Biscuit, and then for sweet, there's a cha cha chata, which is like a porchata, deep fried Rocky Road, Blue Bonnet, Peanut Butter Paradise, and the Ultimate Rookie Monster. That sounds awesome. The cha cha chata or the lasagna roll sounds pretty interesting. Like, what is this? Deep fried brownies? Yes. Okay, when it's fair, keep it deep fried, right? So I am the sweets person for sure, so I had to try the deep fried brownie. Yeah, we'll get that. Okay. I kind of have higher expectations. It's really gooey on the inside though, like once you get past the fried part, the brownie's really good. Very chocolatey. Give it a six. It's alright. My turn. The brownie's not that good overall. You win some, you lose some. What pairs well with deep fried charcuterie than deep fried wine? No, just kidding. It's just regular wine. But the state fair has a wine garden. So to pair that with the very bougie charcuterie, no, it is just charcuterie fried together and drizzled in honey. Okay, that's actually really good. The goat cheese on top, dinner, baby. That's very good. Spicy with a little bit of honey, kind of like a hot honey pizza mm -hmm. or something like that. And then you kind of have a crab ragoon style um, wonton wrapper around it, fried. <laughs> really good. I think one of my favorite parts of the fair is the birthing barn. Like some of these little chicks and piglets were born like two days ago. It's so cute. Fun fact, cows are my favorite animal. I love them. You know a lot of people like point out cool things on the side of the road. I will point out every cow on the side of the road. There's a giant central building that's basically full of crafts and butter sculptures and competitions and quilts and things like that, including <laughs> my boss's wedding quilt. A third place, her grandmother-in-law made it for them for her wedding and entered it in the contest and it won. Happy camper. Did you see the butter sculpture? Yes. It's crazy. Is it weird that Tex stares at you every time you take a sip? Hi, buddy. <laughs> 
yeah, it's, it's not weird until you make it weird. All I'm thinking about is at 2 a.m. going to get some water out of the kitchen and I see these little beady eyes looking at me. I think we're gonna have to get rid of it. Competition between savory and sweet, I clearly choose sweet every time. And if we're talking fair competition, funnel cake versus cotton candy, cotton candy every time. <laughs> Yum. That's all I need. I can eat this whole thing. I won't. I could. It's definitely not, I don't like cotton candy, but I love it. it's okay for this, one bite. This is fair nostalgia for me. I mean, I am set, man. It's got screaming kids, doesn't matter. Cotton candy, about to, it, it's really, it's fuel to face my fears once again. We're about to go on a really old ride. The Lone Star, which is the giant Ferris wheel. It doesn't look as safe as the one in Montreal, that's for sure. Super trustable quality. I want to get down. It's a beautiful sunset though. Not again! One more time! <laughs> I didn't need it. Is this it? Like a one fast round after you get everyone on? Maybe. Ledges, I'm fine with being on mountains, being, you know, on a platform, okay. But, um, bridges, things being suspended in the air, hard pass. I don't think I showed anybody my socks for today. Nice. Big Texan, Texas State flag. We're at the 410. Probably the most Texas thing is an F-150, so it fits to be at the State Fair for sure. After this, we're going to an Illuminations type show outside. If you've been to Disney, you've seen the Illumination show. Fireworks, probably dancing, something like that going on, but we're excited to see it. We all know Midway games are like a fun ripoff anyway, but even more so of a ripoff. You can't use the same coupon you use for your food and your rides. You have to buy a game token or whatever, so we're gonna go blow $20 on some people. Hey! Not my game. Big tips. Goodbye, folks. And we'll see y'all real soon.